Greetings Star Wars fans! Today we're taking a look at the Star Wars Rogue One Admiral Raddus action figure. He is of course a 3.75 inch uh, 5 point of articulation figure and he is in the last wave of Rogue One figures. These are sort of difficult to find depending on where you live. I actually uh, ordered this one off of uh, Amazon along with uh, Lieutenant Selfla. Uh, and the uh, final wave includes uh, Galen Urso, and I think there's a Mandalorian figure from uh, Rebels that's also in that wave. Uh, so these are these are really cool action figures. One of the things that I'm disappointed in about the Rogue One line, I would have liked to have seen uh, more of the Rebel troops, um, Admiral Radis's command staff. You know, some figures of Bell Organa, Mon Mothma, uh, General Draven, uh, General Dodonna. Uh, a lot of great opportunity there. Uh, lost, I believe, on Hasbro's part by not producing some of these action figures that collectors certainly would have liked to have seen. Uh, there were plenty more Rebel Commandos that could have gone uh, into this last wave uh, to complement the U-Wing fighters and, you know, just to make an all-out large diorama uh, with your figures and vehicles. Uh, so that's that's very disappointing. But I'm glad to see Admiral Raddus. He is by far one of my favorite characters uh, in Rogue One and from Star Wars altogether. Um, I really can't say enough good things about Rogue One. I really, really love that film. Uh, Gareth Edwards did a phenomenal job on that movie of capturing the essence of the the feel of the original trilogy and and uh, you know just that nostalgia uh, was just there and. In my opinion, it had the best action sequences in the space battle of any of the films to date. And it really meshed well, you know, with the original trilogy. Um, <clears throat> so it is just a really, really great film overall. So Admiral Raddus, of course, is the uh, uh, commander of the Rebel fleet at that point uh, in the Alliance's history. Uh, I do not believe Admiral Akbar has been... Uh, rescued yet from Grand Moff Tarkin, uh, where he is a he's serving as a slave after he was captured on Mon Cal. Um, Admiral Raddus's fate is kind of left unknown. Uh, there was a, a sequence that was cut from the film in which he and his uh, other officers were were killed, uh, but that's just kind of left a question. You know, I've seen a lot of fans say that he died. You know, Jen Erso died, Cassian died, and that sort of thing. That's all kind of left up to speculation, really. Um, not saying there would be another film with these characters in it, uh, but you never see any of that for certain. You know, who's to say that a U-Wing didn't swoop in, uh, and rescue Cassian and Jen, uh, as there were two U-Wings on Scarif with Blue Squadron, and one of them we never see. Uh, we only hear, uh, radio communications and, uh, and commands going out to those U-Wings. Uh, we do see it in the space battle as it's preparing to go through the shield gate, but we don't see it after that. Uh, so that's uh, that's some things there left to speculate, but it's a really nice action figure. I really like the Star Wars Rogue One packaging with the Death Trooper up here. Nice artwork of Admiral Raddus. Of course, your obligatory product shots and a brief bio uh, on the top of Admiral Raddus. So we'll go ahead and free him from his plastic packaging. And I know there's many of you out there right now disagreeing with what I just said and thinking, man, you're crazy, he's dead. Well, I don't look at it that way. I'm going to be honest with you, if I could have picked the director for the sequel films, I would have picked Gareth Edwards, just because he, he has done everything he could do to stay true to George Lucas's original vision, um, and I assure you, had he directed The Force Awakens, we would not have seen a uh, rehash of A New Hope. That wouldn't have been the case. So, and I, I never, like, really keep these projectile light gun things as more for kids, a gimmick for them to play with. So, Admiral Raddus has a, there's a DL-17 heavy blaster here. Really nice action figure. A lot of nice detailing there. One of the things I like is they incorporated in his head, like they did with Admiral Akbar, where you could move his, his mouth and his head open and close like that. That's really cool. Uh, 
I really like that. And of course, for those of you that don't know, his character was loosely based on Winston Churchill in the film. And I think they did a really great job of incorporating uh, his characteristics, especially his speeches, uh, into Admiral Raddus' lines. Um, but Admiral Raddus is from the southern, uh, colder regions of Mon Cal. That's why his skin is darker versus the lighter colored uh, Mon Cal like Admiral Akbar that are from the tropical areas. So he's a very, very resilient character. And I really love the paint job on his eyes there. Uh, it, I mean, it looks really lifelike. And of course, he's got his utility belt here. He's got a secure data pad here to receive orders from Mon Mothma and General Draven, that kind of thing. So just a, a really nice action figure. I love the ribbing there uh, on his sleeves. Just a really, really cool figure. And of course, he's got five points of articulation. You know, that sort of thing. And his head, I believe, has very limited movement, if any. Yeah. Uh, but still, a really good figure and... Uh, certainly one that collectors of Rogue One will want to pick up for their collection. And he seems to be stable enough, you know, standing on his own, as you can see there. So ladies and gentlemen, there you have the Admiral Raddus 3 and 3 quarter inch action figure from Star Wars Rogue One. Hope you guys have enjoyed the video review. As always, if you haven't uh, subscribed to my YouTube channel, Orion's Belt Creations, please do so. I have a Facebook channel. Uh, by the same name. Uh, I'm also a contributing columnist for Outer Rim News. Outer Rim News is the fastest growing Star Wars news website today with nearly 30,000 subscribers and followers worldwide. Everything from commentaries to collectibles to comics to live action films to animated series, video games, conventions, Outer Rim News has it covered. So if you haven't, please visit their Facebook page, uh, like them, Subscribe to uh, their updates. Check us out on uh, Google+. Plus. We're on Twitter. And, of course, we're on the web with our actual website. Uh, just a really great group of individuals committed to bringing you the latest in all of news concerning the Star Wars universe. So thank you guys for watching my video review. Stay tuned. There's more to come. May the Force be with you.